Hello, welcome back to Paul Stuff. This is my space on YouTube where I get to share all the things I love. Lots of Star Wars, lots of lightsabers usually, uh, but today is a continuing series that I'm doing on my collection of Black Series six inch figures from Hasbro. Um, and today we're gonna look at part two of my A New Hope collection. Um, so in a previous video, I looked at um, part of my A New Hope shelf. I, I organised my Black Series collection on shelves that relate to a particular film or a particular TV show or series. Um, and this is the second part of my, my shelves in this case that uh, house figures from A New Hope. So... Without further ado, let's start taking a look. And we're gonna start off with what is quite possibly my favorite astromech, R5-D4. Um, so in common with astromechs, generally uh, in the Black Series range up until now, R5-D4 is undersized. Um, for whatever reason, Hasbro decided when they, they made the original R2-D2 to make it under scale to the rest of the figures. And um, that has continued through with Astromex in the range um, right up until this year when I believe they're, they're later this year releasing a new R2-D2 and R5-D4, which I will be getting hold of. Um, but as yet, they're not released. So for now, we've got the little undersized chap. Um, it's very similar to the R2-D2, in fact, based off of the same mold as the R2-D2 that we looked at in A New Hope. So the central leg moves up and down in the body by, by screwing a head round. Um, articulation at the ankles and at the shoulders. Um, has little doors that open, accessories that can be put in on um, on peg holes inside the the figure. But R5-D4 is one of my, my favourite figures. And this, this one was released as um, a kind of adjunct to the 40th anniversary figures that uh, we looked at in the, in the last video. Um, if you haven't already watched that video, it's probably worth watching it. Um, I, I talked there about the, the 40th anniversary figures that were released for the 40th anniversary of A New Hope. Um, and uh, yeah, this was, this was on a card back similar to those um, and released at the same time. I believe it was an exclusive. Um, so a little bit harder to find maybe than um, than uh, the other figures in the range, but uh, a, a lovely little astromech. R5-D4 has always been a design that I've, I've really enjoyed. Next up, we have another exclusive. I believe this was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. And this is Obi-Wan and the um, table from his hut with the hologram of Leia on it. And what's nice with this is that um, the hologram actually works. So uh, if we, we press this little, little uh, pot on the end, First, it will, it will play just the, the Help Me Obi-Wan Kenobi section of her speech. And if we press it again, I believe it will play the whole speech. General Kenobi, years ago you served my father in the Clone Wars. Now he begs you to help him in his struggle against the Empire. I regret that I am unable to present my father's request to you in person. But my ship has fallen under attack and I'm afraid my mission to bring you to Alderaan is failed. I have placed information vital to the survival of the rebellion into the memory systems of the R2 unit. My father will know how to retrieve it. You must see this droid safely delivered to him on Alderaan. This is our most desperate hour. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. 
You're my only help. So there we go. That's the um, the San Diego Comic Con Obi Wan Kenobi, which is just the standard Obi Wan Kenobi pre um, pre photo real face printing. Um, the only real difference is is this lovely table set with the the working hologram. And uh, next we have Luke's Landspeeder. So this was um, one of the vehicles that came out uh, from Black Series. It's um, vehicles are difficult in the Black Series because if they go, they get very big very quickly. Um, you can't really do much more than a two-seater vehicle so the land speeder is um, is a good candidate for that has lovely detailing all the way around came with the Luke farm boy figure um, but also has his his um, his blaster rifle and his hat which um, it's seen in some of the deleted scenes and actually tucked up in uh, in the space behind the seats i've got uh, i don't know if you can see it in there but I've, I've got his poncho as well that came with him um this is the luke with the the non photo real face um yeah if you can you can see that particularly well but um, it may not be in focus. But um, yeah, it's not a great look. I say Mark Hamill's face is hard to do anyway, but um, without the photo reel, it's, um, yeah. Uh, this had several features. So the, um, the bonnet lifts up on this to reveal the engine compartment. The, uh, it has two little compartments at the back. One is like a storage compartment. And the other has more engine parts and technical pieces. It's just a lovely little land speeder. Uh, it comes with the, the stand. Um, nice weathering damage that we see on the um on the land speeder in a new hope uh, another nice piece to add into the collection and uh, these were going for very reasonable prices um i don't think it was something that a lot of people went for um and um yeah they uh, they didn't fetch a great deal of interest. Uh, next up we have Luke Skywalker in his X-Wing pilot's guise. I always think that lightsaber hangs a little bit awkwardly. <laughs> um, great figure with some great paint on it. Um, again, we're, we're outside of that photo reel painting, so the face is, um, is what it is. I think with those faces, you very much kind of took your chances with what you got. Um, actually looking at this, this may be a photo reel one. I can't remember now. I don't think it's a photo reel. I think it's just a very good well done um, original painting technique on them um, 
I can't remember. They did do an updated one. I, th I think actually this is the photo real one from um, the archive range, actually, when I think about it. I don't think I got the original one. So, yeah, it comes with the nice helmet, which you can wear as well. Um, I think he also had a blaster. That's uh, Luke, X-Wing pilot. And then we also have Wedge Antilles, X-Wing pilot. So about this, he, he normally holds his helmet the same as Luke and uh, it just dropped out. So uh, I was just... Uh, making sure that that was put back in. So this is Wedge. Actually exactly the same figure as Luke. Um, even down to having the hook on his belt for the lightsaber. Um, the only differences are the paint on the helmet and the head sculpt. So this is um, the Wedge Antilles figure. Nice detailing again in the paintwork. He doesn't want to hold his helmet today. Um, a, a really nice figure. Um, but ultimately, um, one of the one of those figures that is uh, incorporating a lot of reuse. This in this instance from. Uh, from the Luke X-Wing pilot figure. Um, so we'll, we'll look at, at one more and then we'll clear the decks and look at some other figures. The last one that I'll look at here is Grand Moff Tarkin. Um, Grand Moff Tarkin comes with the interrogation droid. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, he, um, as far as I can recall, isn't seen in any scenes in A New Hope with the, uh, with the interrogation droid, that's Darth Vader. But, um, for some reason, when they did the Black Series figure, they chose to gave, give him the in interrogation droid. Now, this one is the archive version, which does have photo reel. Uh, hopefully you can see... The photo real face there is is much much better than um, those original painted faces. Um, some of the painted faces aren't bad, but um, the the photo real ones look more like human faces. So um, even when they don't resemble the actor particularly well, this one's not a bad take on um oh I've forgotten the actor's name <laughs> uh on peter cushing who played grand moff tarkin in the original movie um so we'll move these to one side and we'll have a look at some more So uh, as, as I said um, right at the beginning, these are all figures from A New Hope. And um, what we're going to look at next is my collection of Sand Troopers. And we'll start that off with this fella. This is the official... Um, Hasbro Black Series Dewback. So um, this was like a, a sort of a vehicle pack. Um, really great 
sculpt on the dewback. The dewback has multiple articulation, including the jaw. Um, again, once again, apologies for the dust on these. They are on display all of the time. Um, you get the dewback rider with this as well, who is, uh, he is a, a sand trooper, but technically he's a, 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 um, he's a little bit different from other sand troopers because he has this, uh, this light gray pauldron. It's the only figure that comes with the light gray pauldron. Um, but other than that, he's, he's a, a standard sand trooper, which basically means he's a uh, standard storm trooper with a different belt and the backpack and weathering and additional weapons. So, um, I, I have a little bit of a thing for, for, um, for storm troopers in general. Um, and um, sand troopers particularly, I think they 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 look they look right. They look great in uh, in a new hope. And this this dewback rider is a great way to get hold of a sand trooper. So that's the official. Hasbro do back and then alongside him I found this do back now this is a plush toy or not plush toy but a, like a, a foam toy from Disney Parks um, they sold this a while ago uh, but it happens to be as you can see, a reasonably good size and match for a Black Series dewback. So before I could get my hands on the official dewback when it came out, I had this as my dewback, and um, I made up a dewback rider for it. So I painted the pauldron grey on a standard um, sand trooper. And I made him a one of the electro staffs, and uh, sat him on the back of here. So this was my my first dewback before I got hold of the official one. So those are the dewbacks, and then we have sand troopers, and what I'm going to try and do with these is to um to bring these up um i have five sand troopers apart from the do back riders and these all live on a shelf together um the, the sand trooper um was a great army builder um came with three different weapons uh so you have the the uh is it the the, the ti-21 blaster the e11 blaster and a dl19 blaster um they were released at different times with different pauldron colors i believe um so obviously i've already mentioned that the dewback rider has a gray one there was the orange one for the squad leader and the white one for the sergeant and then the black ones, which um, I believe are, are, are either, wherever you read, they're either corporals or just privates. Um, so I, I wanted a few of these with different blasters. Um, you can also attach or detach uh, the, the shoulder uh, pouches from they're actually attached onto the backpack. The backpacks hold onto the back with a little pin at the back. Um, as far as I'm aware, the backpacks are all the same. Um, 
there are different backpacks in the movie but these ones are all the same as far as i can uh, as far as i can remember um i don't think there's any difference in them um some are weathered more than others but um yeah and once again this is based on um that original um, Black Series Stormtrooper figure. So really early in the range. These came out early in the range. Double jointed knees, double jointed elbows, fairly limited articulation. They can quite often tend to have bowed legs. Um, these ones have a different belt. So the, the Stormtrooper has a, a belt that just has a holster on it. These have the pouches on the sides as well, which is right for for the uh, the sand troopers. As I say, I've, I've, I have a little bit of a thing for sand troopers, so a little bit of a soft spot for them. Um, so that's uh, the last of the figures in my A New Hope shelves from, from uh, the Black Series, six inch range. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. Um, hope you found something interesting or informative in it. That's what the channel's all about. If you have, please give the video a like. Um, if you like the content, then please consider giving the channel a like uh, and uh, or give, subscribing to the channel. Uh, it's always great to see new people subscribing. Um, the whole aim of the channel is, is just to be informative, really, and, and to share the things I love, which is what I say at the beginning, isn't it, um, of all of these videos. So that's everything for today. Uh, once again, I hope you've enjoyed the content. But for now, cheerio.